For these videos, I will not be using the operational logbook, the one that's installed in the boathouse. Instead, I'll be using the development version on my laptop. It has extra features that are useful for de development, testing, and demonstrations. It allows me to manipulate the date and time. That's very handy for testing and demonstrating reservations, making them, setting the clock ahead, and then claiming them. The cast of characters for these videos are a set of fictional ARC members with tailor-made properties. They're useful for demonstrating features without using real ARC members. And in this spreadsheet, you can see them listed. We have nine rowers named rower one, rower two, and so forth, the rower nine. <clears throat> we have a member who is uh, called bow double, another called bow quad, coxswain, a coach, a dock master, and an ARC staff member. They have very simple logins, which make it easy for me to uh, remember their login names. <clears throat> and they each have skill ratings. Rower 1 has skill level 1 for sculling and skill level 1 for sweep. Rower 2 has skill levels 2, rower 3, and so forth up to rower 4. Beginning at rower 5, we start over at level 1. We go up to level four. Uh, rower nine has no skill rating at all. We'll see what happen, happens when rower nine tries to take a boat out. Um, bow, bowing a double and bowing a quad are two different qu uh, qualifications. Bow double is, has login B2 and skill level four for bowing a double. Bow quad has skill level four for bowing a quadruple skull. A cox has skill rating four for coxing either a, a, a four or an eight. And then we have a coach whose uh, skill levels are four all the way across the board. We have a dock master and an ARC staff member. So. That's the, the uh, cast of characters you'll see reappearing uh, as I demonstrate the various functions of the logbook.